We meditate to bring some brightness into our lives. As the Buddha said, there are four kinds of people, those who come in darkness and go in darkness, those who come in darkness and go in light, those who come in light and go in darkness, and those who come in light and go in light. Coming in darkness or light depends on karma from past actions. If you come in difficult situations, difficult surroundings, don't have many opportunities, so that's called coming in darkness. If the situation is good, things are easy, lots of opportunities, so that's coming in light. But as the Buddha said, it doesn't matter how you come, what matters is how you go. You don't want to go in darkness. You go in darkness, you break the precepts and create a lot of bad karma, make things even worse. Going in light means you abide by the precepts. You develop the mind, train the mind. So in spite of whether the situations, the surroundings are good or not, it means the course of your life is in your hands. The kind of life you're going to have it depends on your actions. It doesn't depend on the, the old surroundings. So we train the mind here so that we can have the strength to go in light regardless of whether we come in light or darkness, because sometimes coming in light is not a good thing. You get complacent. And some people come in darkness who realize they've got to do something about their lives and get their act together. And John Fuyong told me that when he was young. His family was poor. His parents died when he was 11. He had trouble at school. And as he started to think about his life, realizing he was going to make anything out of himself at all, and he had to train his mind. So in that case, coming in darkness was actually good for him. Got him on the path. So don't make a big deal of, out of your surroundings. Make a big deal out of what's going on in your mind. This is why the Buddha said it's good in terms of your surroundings to learn contentment. If things are good enough, okay, they're good enough. Put your energy into, into the mind, because the mind is where you have to have your sense of discontent. In other words, you see that the mind still has lots of unskillful qualities, so you've got to work on that. You can't just rest and say, well, that's the way things are. They come and they go, and you watch them arise and pass away and try to be equanimous. That's not the Buddha's way at all. You see greed is coming up in the mind, lust is coming up in the mind, anger, aversion, fear, delusion, jealousy, things like this. You've got to do something about it. He says it's like finding that your head is on fire. You do everything you can. You focus all your mindfulness and effort on getting the fire out as quickly as you can. So that's where the real emphasis of our life should be, is on the quality of the mind. Now the world pulls us in other directions. So you've got to learn how to resist that pull. This is one of the reasons why we have a quiet place like this, so we can get away from outside influences and really look at what's important for us in our lives and set our lives in the right direction. <clears throat>